Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be ranking all of my bronzers from my least to my most favorite. So if you would like to see how all of my bronzers rank, then just keep watching. So my makeup collection series has come to a little bit of a halt as I'm waiting for some drawers to come in and I'm going to do a lot more makeup collection videos but I've done all of my palettes so far and I want to get into bronzers, blush, and highlighters. I definitely have the least amount of bronzers so I pulled out all of them and I figured I could actually do it ranking style. Just numbers wise I'm not going to be able to rank my blushes and my highlighters unless I break them up by like high end and affordable. It will be too overwhelming for me so I might just do like a regular my blush collection, my highlighter collection, but this is my bronzer collection. So it's a collection video kind of, but I figured I had a good number where I can rank them as well. And I'm pretty picky about my bronzers. I'll wear any bronzer. Basically, I feel like I can make a lot work for me, but there are some that I just know are so much easier to grab for that I love every time. And there's others that I do feel need some tweaking. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now in my face palette collection video, those feature other kind of bronzer products. I'm not feeling featuring any palettes in here, just my individual bronzers and their only powder. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with also adding in my Korean bronzers, so we're only doing my individual powder bronzers today. Let's get into the bronzers. I did my makeup a few hours ago and then I had to stop because I had to go to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and so I've had greasy food and all of that, so ugh, I feel good. I feel ready. To film this. So I have 19 bronzers. I don't think I'm going to remember the numbers correctly so just a little warning I might mess up the numbers but this is definitely number 19 the least favorite bronzer in my collection. Now keep in mind if I hate a bronzer I'm not going to keep it so for the most part there's some reason that I keep these bronzers in my collection so I have to at least like them a little bit. But probably my least favorite bronzer in my collection is this pretty vulgar bronzer in the shade bronzed mannequin. My apologies if you hear mowing. It's a nice day outside. I can't get angry but I don't like this bronzer simply because it's just not a very good color for me. It's a little bit too dark for me and it just deposits way too much color. It's too warm. It's too dark. This isn't made for my skin tone. I got this in a boxy charm and honestly I really wouldn't mind decluttering this. So this might be in a future declutter if I ever do a declutter video but honestly I don't really like this bronzer. I think the powder aspect of it's nice like the quality is fine but the color is just off for my skin tone. So this one I actually like really don't like. So <laughs> that's number 19. I can't really talk about that one some more. <laughs> number 18 is this Morphe Brontour in the shade Celebutante. First of all, I love that it's called Brontour, the mix of bronzer and contour. I think it's really great marketing. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to buy it. I just don't find myself grabbing for this one that much. I think the color is okay. Blendability is okay. It's not bad enough for me to want to get rid of just in case there's a video where I do like a full face of Morphe or a full face of affordable products. I like this enough to keep it and talk about it in a video. It's just I have such a great range of bronzers that this one isn't my favorite. It's just not my perfect shade. I don't love the shade. I don't dislike it either but it's kind of a nah. It's not bad but it's not great. The colors that they have in the line are pretty nice and I like the concept of this. It's very small and portable and this is something I would take to travel because if it breaks, it's not that big of a deal and the color works. You know, it's a more affordable product and it gets the job done. Number 17. I want to like this so bad. I like the color. That's why I keep this. This is the ColourPop bronzer in the shade Coconut Beach. The reason why this bronzer is ranking so low is because it is so powdery, you guys. I stick my brush in it and powder gets everywhere, which really is a shame because I really love the color of this and I like ColourPop powder products, but for some reason, reason this one is so powdery and what confused me about this is there's another bronzer which I will mention later on that isn't so powdery it's a different color but it's not as powdery as this but I like this color more so it just it doesn't make sense to me but anyways Colourpop Coconut Beach just does not do it for me moving on this came up from this 
This came from a holiday set from Tarte this year or this past year, I guess. And the top product is a bronzer. So I keep it in my bronzer drawer. So I guess I'll talk about it. And I like this bronzer. I think it gets the job done. It's a little bit too warm for me and it's not the most smooth blendability. But I do like it. It shades the face. And I know this is kind of like a trio. So it's not exactly a bronzer bronzer. But I did want to talk about it because it's such an easy system of pretty wearable colors that go with every look. So I do like this and I do get use out of this little guy. It came with three trios in the set, but this one is my favorite. This is the Snow Kissed Prize and Peppermint Mocha. So if you have the Nine Ways to Shine from Tarte, pull this out because I feel like this could get lost and it's actually a pretty good product. Number 15 is from Makeup Forever and this is the Pro Bronze and I have mine in the lightest shade. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's not a bad bronzer. It's just this doesn't fit my skin tone well. It's a little bit too light for me. I can make it work and that's why I keep it in my collection when I want just like a really light amount of shading is when I will use this product. I kept this in my kit for a while but I think it just kind of got old and I wanted to refresh with a new bronzer so I took this out of my kit so that's why I really don't use it because I just wanted it for very fair clients but if you are very fair you might really like this bronzer. It just it's not the color for me so that's kind of why it's ranking where it's ranking. This is number 14 and it's so funny how your opinions of makeup changes over the years because a while ago this was my absolute favorite bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and it smells like chocolate and I think that's why I used to love it so much but honestly it's too dark for me. I prefer lighter bronzers nowadays and I think it's a pretty good color but it's almost too poopy brown on me if I'm being honest. It's just too dark and it just kind of looks dirty on my face. I have to use a very light hand and I did go through a phase recently where I started using it again and I just don't love it. I like it enough to keep it. I like it enough to use it up until it's either old or I finish it but once I'm done with this I'm not going to repurchase it. Number 13 is this Wet n Wild bronzer. Now this used to be not my favorite at all. This has definitely climbed up the list as I've had it longer but this is in the shade Take Me to Brazil. And I didn't like it because I thought it looked a little bit too warm on me. I thought the shimmer on it was kind of weird. It weighed weird on the outsides of my face. The reason why I've started to like it is because I found this works really well over powder foundation. For my job I wear a lot of powder foundation and sometimes you'll notice that bronzers aren't really going to stick or show up because there's nothing for it to stick to. This bronzer applies so smooth over powder foundation it has no problems having the pigmentation show and honestly the shine over a powder foundation looks really nice. Honestly this probably should have ranked a little bit higher because it's one of my favorite bronzers as far as my powder foundation routine goes but as far as like on regular liquid foundation it's not my favorite to use. It's not my favorite color but the way it applies over powder foundation is just so smooth. Number 12 is the other bronzer from the Coconut Collection from Colourpop and this is Talk to the Palm and I like the formula of this but this shade is just a bit too deep for me which is why I totally wish the formulas could switch between the two because I love the other color so much but I like the formula of this. I just think this is a really nice affordable bronzer and if you're looking for an affordable bronzer and you're on the Colourpop website they do have good bronzers. If you're a medium skin tone I think you will really like this. This just isn't for me but I still use it because the packaging is super cute and it's not a bad bronzer at all. Number 11 is the Maybelline City Bronzer in 200 and honestly from this point on I love all of the bronzers that I'm talking about. This is a really good one, a really great affordable one from the drugstore. There's a few really good bronzers at the drugstore and this is one of them, definitely top three in the drugstore. 200 is good but this is when I want an extra bronze or a little extra shading because it's a little bit too deep for me, like just a touch. If I'm being picky that's why this is ranking where it is but it's a really great formula so I highly recommend this bronzer it's very very good. Number 10 is from Ofra this is from the new Samantha March collection and this is the bronzer duo and I love how this bronzer has a shimmer side and then a matte side so you can really kind of customize what you like about it. For me again I just feel like it's a bit too deep for me. I think this will work better on a medium skin tone however if you use a light hand this is a beautiful bronzer. I love mixing both sides because I don't have a problem with shimmery bronzer but I just like how you have the option to not have a shimmery bronzer. It's very warm to the face as well which I do like so overall I like the tone of this I just think it's a bit too deep for me but the formula is really great and I think Samantha did a great job at creating a bronzer that fit a lot of different skin tones so the fact that this is a little bit dark is okay because it's going to work for a wider range of people and you can customize it to make it work for you. Just use a light hand and tap it off and it's a really good bronzer. Number nine 
shade is from Milani, and this is the Sun Kissed Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I'm telling you, the drugstore has some really good bronzers. If I could go back, I would buy a lighter shade, but as you can see, not too long ago, I was into darker bronzers. I think now, at this point, I much prefer lighter bronzers. My bronzer collection really reflects the times where I prefer a darker bronzer, which is why I'm complaining now, because I like a light bronzer. This is a really good one. It is so silky on the skin. It applies very easily. It blends very easily. The quality of this is A1. Going back, obviously, I wish I could get the lighter shade, but this is still really good, and I can still make it work for me, and it's just a good, solid bronzer. Number eight is my bronzer from Dior. This is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze. This is a little bit harder to get your hands on. It's not one of their typical bronzers. I bought this at Nordstrom a while back, and this one is a little bit lighter for me, and it has more of a pinky tone. This is what I wear when I wear a foundation that's too light on my skin tone. I'll just kind of go with it and apply a lighter bronzer because that's when you can see this. I love the way this smells. It's such a nice, natural, light bronze to the skin. It's not too warm. It just... It smells like so delicious and fresh. And I just really like this bronzer. I really love Dior. I love their face powders. And this is no exception. This is really wonderful. If you're very fair, by the way, this is a great bronzer for fair skin because it does have a little bit of pink to it, which will look even better on cooler tone fair skin tones. Number seven is another one from Maybelline. It's the same one that I mentioned, but in a different color. This is in the shade 100. My life changed when I purchased the 100 versus the 200 because I started off with the 200 and I knew I loved the formula but I needed something lighter and so when this finally came back in stock I snatched it up as soon as I could and this is the perfect everyday bronzer it's very light if I am looking for a little bit more of deepening I'll actually mix these two which are perfect I just really like this formula it's a solid bronzer great from the drugstore very reliable not too warm not too neutral just a really good bronzer so the city bronzers from Maybelline spectacular moving on to number six we have the Kylie Cosmetics Cosmetics bronzer in tequila tan. I just think this is a very nice solid bronzer. It's a little bit more warm which I like but it still plays pretty neutral on the skin. It doesn't look too orange. It's a really nice formula. I feel like I can't go too heavy-handed with it and it's just a nice safe color that goes with any look. It's a great formula. The packaging is cute. I'm very tempted to grab for it a lot and as you can see I've made quite a dent in it because it's really good. I like that it's not too powdery so you can't go heavy-handed with it. The Kylie Cosmetics like bronzers and blushes are really really good. I could pass on her highlighters but the bronzers I think she came out with a really great line. Moving on to number five we have the ever so popular Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is just a really great classic bronzer. It applies so smooth to the skin. It's the perfect tone and it works so great on a lot of different skin tones with a lot of different undertones. I think most of you know by now how great this bronzer is and I highly recommend it so I don't want to talk about it too much because this one is very very hyped up but for a good reason this is a really quality affordable bronzer moving on to number four this one's a little bit more cool toned but I do enjoy it a lot this is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the film star bronze and glow I use this a lot for cool toned looks because it is a cooler toned bronzer sometimes I'll use it even more so as a shader and then I'll add something more warm on top it's a beautiful formula this is kind of a classic formula from Charlotte Tilbury and for good reason it just looks good. It works good. The corresponding highlighter is also really great for very simple brightening to the face. But overall, I love this. It's just really good. <laughs> I feel like a bronzer is a bronzer, so it's kind of hard to explain what makes them different from each other and what doesn't. All I know is I grab for that one a lot. Moving on to number three is the newest addition to my collection, you guys. This bronzer, so good. This is the Kosas Baked Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Light, and it's just this beautiful, shimmery baked bronzer, but it's not shimmery, I guess. It just has a very nice natural sheen to it. This is the perfect tone on my skin. It's not too dark. It's not too light and it just adds the right amount of shading to where I still feel very comfortable. The finish of it is beautiful. It blends out really nice. There's a lot of hype recently around this bronzer and for good reason. It's awesome. So highly recommend this one. My number two favorite bronzer. This is actually the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It's the perfect warm tone for me. This is the Fenty bronzer in Shady Biz 
for me, this is what I like as far as warmth goes. You can see it just has a touch of warmth, but it's not too orange, which I really enjoy. I do feel like it genuinely makes me look more tan, but it has enough cool properties in it that it does shade me just a little bit. I think the formula in here is spectacular. It applies the right amount of product just with the first touch. I don't really have to go in and build, but I also don't have to blend to take some product away. There's something about this formula and the amount of pigmentation that this deposits on my skin that's wonderful. So Shady Biz from Fenty, fantastic. Moving on to my number one bronzer. I recently have really fallen in love with it and every time I use it, I just can't get over how good it is. And I can't believe it's number one, but this is the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea. It's just a solid bronzer. It's such a good tone and such a beautiful finish. It applies so evenly and easy to the skin. It will never ever look too dark on my skin and it will never ever look too light. And overall, I just feel good applying it. Everything from the packaging, to the color, to the finish on the skin. It does have a slight sheen finish to it that looks very natural. You can't go wrong with this bronzer. I love it over my liquid foundations. I love it over my powder foundations. I love it over my cream foundations. This has been a tried and true of mine for years and it still ranks at the very top. So the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea is so underhyped. It's so good. My number one favorite. All right, guys, so that was it. That was me ranking all of my bronzers. And I have to be honest, it was very easy to rank them. I just know what I like at this point. And over the years, my wants and desires as far as bronzers go have really shifted, making it easier for me to make this choice. Right now, I prefer a warm neutral that has a little bit of a sheen that is not too dark on my skin tone. It actually is just a little bit more light. I just think there's no need for me to go dark, but I used to love that. So it just depends what phase I am in my life. If I were to rank these bronzers a year ago, the rankings would have been totally different because I wanted something different out of my bronzers. But as of now, today, May 2020, this is what I like and those are my rankings. So I'm going to list my top 10 bronzers down below in the description box in case you want to check them out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what collection video you would like to see next and if you're interested in me ranking my blush but done in affordable and high-end categories just because it would be too overwhelming otherwise. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.